Hey, it's Plexity, and welcome to a game called Ban Chang Dan Ghost. In this in this game, I am basically reading a story to you, but I heard some scary shit going on in this story. This is actually a game as well, I think, or a comic. I'm not sure, but we're about to try this shit out. Let's go. All right. It is around 11:20 at night. And yo, shit, this shit the time right now. It's almost 6 a.m. I was dragging myself home exhausted after tiring night study sessions in school, with, but there was one, there was no one in the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my parents' complex was pretty big. Holy shit, you must have a mansion, and, mansion and shit. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. You're fucked up. I mean, I I will be creepy. Yo, that's a fucking shadow. You got me hell. Suddenly, a shadow stretched toward me, caught my eye. Although there was no one around me. Hell no. I would have fucking dipped. I would have ran home. Yo, I would have locked my doors and turned the lights down low. Let me stop. And I saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked kind of strange. I could say that she looked crippled, but was limping and struggling to walk into I oh, can't fucking read <laughs> oh shit since she was walking very slow I soon catch up to her I was able to see her even better oh you gotta be fucking kidding me I would've ran my ass home stay your ass home at night anyway <laughs> She was wearing a dirty pink pajamas and looked as if her joints was twisted out of her body. Well, that shit was red differently, but anyway, worst, her hair was sticking out everywhere. How is that worse? How is that worse? How is her hair worse? How is her joints twisted out of her body worse than her hair? Why the fuck am I reading this at night? It seems so weird, so I had to stop walking. I felt... Like I should shouldn't get any closer to her. No, I have the guts to pass her. Oh hell, no! I would have jump scared, but hell to the fucking no! You got me fucked up, game. This is this is nighttime right now, and I don't feel like screaming out of my fucking lungs like a little kid. You got me fucked up, game. You know people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. Yes, I just that just fucking happened to me. <laughs> I froze there, not being able to move at all. I should I should use a girl voice. Let me try. Ah! Oh shit, let me use a deep voice. Where's my baby? Oh shit. I, my thoughts was racing to her question. Oh my god. I can fucking do a, a fucking girl voice. Oh my god. I don't even know. Uh, let me stop. <laughs> I'm failing. What well, I'm thinking when I did that gives me the chills thinking of that moment. She like she's pointing. I answered pointing as far as I could. Over there. I just wanted to get away from her. I mean, I just wanted her to get away from me. And then she limped towards where I had pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Okay, she looks like she's about to run. Feared that I might run into her again. I tried to, uh,. Dip my ass back, leave the apartment, get the fuck out of here because that shit, that bitch is creepy. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where a lot of people are around, and at that moment, he's not here. I hear her screaming from far away. Oh my god! Oh my god. Are you serious? And my shit is gonna die? Oh my god. That really gave me chills. You got me fucked up. Look at her. Look at her in the screen right there. Right there at the bottom. You got me fucked up. Yo, I would have ran my ass. I would have got some bug spray for that bitch. I would have said, tss, tss, tss. And the bitch would have died. But goddamn, yo, that shit had me startled. I can't, I can't scream right now. I really wanted to so badly. But you know, it's fucking 6 a.m. right now. So, I gotta be whispered to the motherfucker, but that shit startled me. Like, look at her right now. She looks like she got shiny gods in her eyes. Like, what the fuck? Holy shit, yo, Naruto, where you at? Tell your girl to chill down. <laughs> I don't remember anything 
From then on, I heard my neighbor's family pass down on the ground and took me home. Yeah, you better take your ass home. You're lucky they didn't rape your ass. <laughs> oh my god, can we stop? Oh my god, I'm just a fucking ass. In 2007, at the apartment complex in Ban Chan Dong, Gawak, I can't pronounce that shit. Alright, I'll try. Gawak Ak Gu, Gawaku Su. <laughs> Bad in Japanese. At 33 year old woman jumped off an apartment and died on the spot. Damn, I think that was the girl right there. That fucking scared the shit out of us. N known as her name, Cho. A divorce due to her extra martial affair. She had lost her constu. Con I can't fucking read. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't fucking read. Of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. That's so fucking sad. Look at her body and her joints was twisted. After the accident, Cho has been seen walking around the complex several times. After the accident, oh wait, that's the same shit. <laughs> um, anyway, that was Bang Chang. Dang ghost. I'm sorry if it was so short. Um, I, I just I didn't have anything to record, and I was like, wait a minute, isn't there like a website called Banchan Dang Ghost that was fucking creepy as fuck? So I just searched that shit, and I was right. But anyway, I hope you like the video, cause I don't know if that that type of video suits you all, because I was reading as a motherfucker, y'all again. Sorry for the lag earlier with those two videos. I don't know, like, I might do, like, two videos in one day. I'm not sure yet. Don't quote me on that. But anyway. Well, by the time you see this, it'll already be determined. But anyway. This is Plexity. If you like the video, smash that like button to a million pieces. And this is Plexity, and I'm out. Peace.